Hey peeps, in today's video we're going to unbox, set up, and test the Momport Onyx 55 watt desktop CO2 laser. A huge thanks to Momport for sending us this new machine. Disclaimer, this laser was sent to us for free, but all of our opinions are our own. It's here. Momport sent us their brand new Onyx R 55 watt CO2 laser. Comes with integrated cooling with its own air assist and autofocus, which I'm super excited for, as well as a camera system to be able to overlay into Lightburn for our projects for alignment. This is an amazing system. So in the box comes with obviously the laser itself. It comes with a honeycomb bed, which is really nice. Comes with its own inline fan with its own ducting to get the smoke out of the machine and area. Comes with all the cables you need, some tools, and some backup fuses. So let's get into this box and see what's in here. And this plastic box comes with different cables, clamps, cotton swabs, Allen keys, a tool to access the laser's lens, a USB disc, we're not exactly sure what this is, and finally the instructions. We're gonna go ahead and take these lids off to show you kind of the inside workings of it. But really nice that the lid is on some gas hinges here or gas pistons to hold it up. So that's pretty cool. Here's our integrated camera, little gantry crane here. It's on linear rails. It's really nice there, nice and smooth and straight. And then we can take this up. All right, so with the cover off, you can see here is uh, our tiny little stepper motor here for the autofocus, which is cool. And this tube here is our integrated air assist. Awesome. So love to see that. And there's just a three millimeter screw on the inside here. We're going to use this little three millimeter Allen. And then there's another one over here and then we can pop these lids off. So here's the three millimeter screw that you have to unbolt to get this lid off. But yeah, real quality. This is a a steel casing, so pretty strong. But basically what we got here is our power supply for our laser. And back here you can see our stepper board for our stepper motors. And then this little guy right here is our air assist that is already wired up and ready to go. Okay, on this side you can kind of sneak a peek of our laser tube right there, as well as the lines for the coolant. And here's our coolant tank and our radiator for our coolant. Really cool that this is all integrated in there and it already came uh, shipped with the laser safe antifreeze in it. So that's cool. And then of course our mirrors to get it to our laser head. So up front here we've got kind of a, a little rubber gasket thing to cover the pass through. So there's one of these on the back side as well. So you can put a long board all the way through this thing. Uh, but you can also take this drawer out completely as well as this honeycomb bed 
And you can see now that we have complete access below. So if we had something that was too large to get into this laser, we could actually put it underneath the laser and kind of engrave it that way. So that's really a neat feature to have this open area below the laser. But again, there is a pass through back on the other side so that you could put a long board through if you want. Now I will say that long board that you put through can't be very thick. You can see that this is just about a quarter of an inch. I really like the fact that this tray comes out so that we can do some cleaning on here after we laser. Now we need to download an extension to our existing Lightburn license that can support our new laser. And now we can add this device to Lightburn and connect it. Now it's time for us to calibrate the built-in camera. And in order to do this, we'll just follow the instructions that come up and move the circle pattern to the different places in the camera's view. From our experience, we learned that we need pretty good lighting in order for the camera to capture these images. Now to preview our workspace, all we have to do is press Update Overlay. To verify the calibration is correct, we're going to create a design that will make sure it's engraved in the same spot that was previewed in Lightburn.
Using 60% power in three passes, we were able to cut cleanly through half inch plywood. So overall, this laser has some really cool features, but we do have some areas where we think this laser can improve. So the first thing is the cables that connect from the laser to your computer, and they come in different lengths. And that's just a little bit frustrating because you have to obviously keep your computer a little bit closer because of the cable length of the camera cable. So I really would have wished that both cables came the same length. So the next thing is that the light that emits out of the front of the laser, which is really cool, but it's really, really bright. So we really would have wished they would have used a darker acrylic up the front in order to block some of that light or use less LEDs to illuminate that Montport logo. But we can fix that. To measure the acrylic we want to cut, we can just use the built-in camera. The next thing is that the inline exhaust fan that comes with the machine does not have an on and off switch, which means that you have to unplug it if you want to turn it off or plug it in if you want to turn it on, which obviously requires a little bit more work. The alternative, which I think what we are gonna do is put it into a smart plug so that we can just push a button to get it to turn on and off. The last thing we noticed, which isn't really that big a deal, but the instruction manual that comes with this machine is clearly not for this machine. It actually, I believe, is for the original Onyx machine because it mentions some pieces and tools that come with it that actually don't come with this machine, such as the rotary and an extra lens. There's also a bunch of typos in it. So those are kind of the drawbacks of this machine. And all in all, it's not a deal breaker for us because this machine itself is actually really good at this price point considering all of the features that it comes with. These are just kind of our nitpicky items. Now, the great things about this machine are it's fast, quiet, it has autofocus, it's a very powerful laser, it comes integrated with things like a honeycomb bed, an integrated air assist, an integrated water chiller, and it comes with an inline fan. You also have a very large workspace, has super easy framing using the camera, and there are many materials that you can grave with the CO2 machine. Montport advertises cutting 10 millimeters acrylic and 10 millimeter wood in a single pass. However, that would require you to go above the recommended operational power and potentially reduce the service life of your laser. 
In the manual, it says it is not recommended that the laser use full power and that a maximum of 70% and minimum of 10% power. We did 5.6 millimeter acrylic at 60% power and cut it through with two passes and it cut very nicely. So thanks again to Momport for sending us this CO2 laser. If you'd like to get one of your own, go to the Momport website and use Anonymous 10 to get 10% off any machine on the Momport website. Link below. Be sure to stay tuned for our future videos covering this laser. Thank you so much for watching this video.